This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning. And the title of this video clip is Anchored Instruction and Jasper Woodbury. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What does the anchored terminology refer to in anchored instruction? Number two, what are the major principles upon which anchored instruction is built? Number three, what does the Jasper Woodbury series try to do? And number four, describe the storyline and the primary problem that is to be solved in the rescue at Boone's Meadow, which is one of the Jasper Woodbury series. And references and uh, URLs will be given in both this uh, video clip and in the WebCT course. Anchored instruction is a conception of learning that revolves around the use of an authentic event which anchors or situates it. The learner can look at the event from multiple perspectives in an effort to understand the event and tries to solve problems that are presented in the context of the situation. Often anchored instruction involves setting students a role in the context of the story within which a problem is embedded. At this point, the students proceed in what we have seen as common problem-based learning in that they investigate the problem by comparing the desired outcome or situation to the current situation. They identify the problem and resources or the knowledge and resources that they have available and the role or the perspective that they're expected to assume. Then they proceed to create solutions to the problem. An example of this is given in the literature as one of the students is taking on a role of a pilot in order to learn about the con concepts such as gravity, flight dynamics, and Bernoulli's principle and the effects of wind strength and angles. As in the case of PBL, the instructor takes on the role of facilitator and supports student learning. And this is a reference to Van Hennigan, Barron, Young, Williams, Vi, and Bransford, 1992. The following is quoted from Foster, 2004, Anchored Instruction in B. Hoffman, Editor, Encyclopedia of Ent Educational Technology. And I'll be giving the references uh, in WebCT. Anyways, the quote goes this way. Anchored instruction is based on two theoretical principles. Learning and teaching activities should be designed around an anchor, which should be some sort of case study or problem situation. And secondly, Curriculum materials should allow exploration by the learner, for example, using an interactive video disc program. Continuing on with the quote, Anchored Instruction's model uses seven interwoven and interdependent cognitive and instructional design principles to create instruction. First, Generative learning format enhances learner motivation by allowing learners to create or generate the story's ending by solving the open-ended problem. Next, video-based presentation improves on textbook learning by adding related background information, animation, graphics, audio, simulation, rich colors, and realism. Next principle, narrative format enhances the story's setting, characters, initial and ending events that enrich the realism and authenticity of the storyline. Next principle, problem complexity piques learners' interest and requires full commitment to follow interrelated steps to, f to solve the problem. The next principle, embedded data designs pepper the storyline with both needed and unneeded data. As a result, learners become engaged in the exploration and discovery process to identify the problem and search for the pertinent data. The next principle, opportunities for transfer are created by offering the same subject, such as geometry, within three different realistic settings that allow learners to view other opportunities to use learned skills and knowledge. And the final principle is that links across the curriculum are rooted within a realistic storyline with content that applies to other areas of study. Therefore, learners are exposed to these new subject matters that may broaden their views to explore other studies of interest." Unquote. The 
splash screen for the adventures of Jasper Woodbury is given on the slide at this point and you can see the URL that uh, this is retrieved from. This URL will be provided to you in the WebCT course as well. Exemplars of an anchored instruction developed by John Bransford and colleagues at the Cognition and Technology Group at Vanderbilt University, others no otherwise known as CTGV, were released as a series of video disc based stories referred to as the Adventures of Jasper Woodbury in 1992. The stories are set up as mystery novels where copious amounts of information, some helpful and not and some not so much, um, can be used in solving the problem that is at the heart of the story. The problems are embedded in complex situations and their contexts which serve as the anchor for the learning and instances of embedded teaching within each of the storylines. The entire series is focused on four main curriculum areas, complex trip planning, statistics and business plans, geometry, and algebra. According to the information provided on the Jasper Witness site, the series is set apart from other educational videos as a complex challenge is provided within the context of a believable story. As the stories are created as a script that is acted out by actors, there is no attempt to create real situations. However, the story presentation is realistic in its nature. Information required to solve the problems is embedded into the storyline and learners must return to the Laserdisc presentation as often as required in order to retrieve the information that is required to solve the problem. The problem itself is a complex one with a number of sub-problems that must be solved in order to provide the solution for the overall problem. Information regarding the Jasper Woodbury series can be found on the site illustrated on this slide and the URL for the site, as I said before, will be given in WebCT. Looking at a specific example of the Jasper Woodbury series then, um, on the slide presented are a series of stills that were taken directly from the video disc series as well. And these are provided in the um, preview or overview of the rescue at Boone's Meadow, which is the specific example that we're taking a look at. Take a few minutes to explore the text-based summary um, of the rescue at Boone's Meadow, the story, the solution, and the extended problems in an effort to explore the similarities and differences of this approach to the one taken in the development of PBLOs within this particular course. The URL for these web pages will be given in the WebCT portion of this course. For the theoretical perspective for this video clip, I'm asking you to read the following paper, the CTGV paper, uh, 1990, Anchored Instruction and its Relationship to Situated Cognition. And I will again give the URL in WebCT. Finally then, the synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one. What characteristics do anchored instruction theory and PBL, um, as, conceived of, isn't it, uh, as conceived of in this course, what do they share? Number two, what are some distinct distinctions between anchored instruction theory and PBL? Number three, what are the similarities and differences between the anchored instruction approach as exemplified in the Jasper Woodbury series and the PBL approach advocated in this course? And why are the distinctions important?